Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's a lovely Sunday evening. I just turned in a final essay, having a glass of rosé, and I thought it'd be fun to sit down and chat with you guys. I love checking in, I love being up to date with you guys, and I just love you guys a lot. How many times can I say the phrase, you guys? Anyways, I went on the gram, Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. If you don't follow me, definitely do. I'm always posting on there to engage with y'all. Um, I said, it's chit chat time. Ask me questions. So you guys are coming in hot with the questions. And yeah, um, we're just gonna get started. Favorite pregame drink, we're just getting started. Um, my favorite pregame drink is probably, um, I really just love wine. I think wine just kind of like, I don't know. I feel like when you drink wine or champagne or something, you kind of just like feel it instantly kind of like chill you out. So it kind of relaxes me right away. Um, but I also just love a good Moscow meal. How to know if you should walk away from a relationship or friendship. This is really, really hard. I've had some friends that are dealing with this lately. I've dealt with it in the past. And the biggest thing is like a friendship or relationship is a two way street at the end of the day. And if you're put, if you feel like you're putting in so much more effort, then you're probably right and they just clearly don't care. But I also think that you have to talk to them about it first because I've had instances where I was hoping the person would reach out more, ask to hang out more and they didn't. But once I said something to them, they're like, I literally had no idea you even wanted to hang out more. You wanted to do this more. So I think it's very important that you communicate it. But if they don't, if they're not willing to compromise, then it's like, peace out, homie, sorry. And that's for like, you know, big friendships and big relationships, not just like a casual acquaintance. like. You don't need to walk out of their life. Favorite song at the moment. Mm. That's really hard. Um, I really love that new song by Luke Combs called Six Feet Apart. It's just so cute. Drake just came out with his new album um, and I have a couple of my favorites that I put in a playlist. I'm currently working on a Spotify playlist called Drake Faves where I show, or where I show, where I add all of like my favorite Drake songs ever in it um, so that I can put it on shuffle and just vibe out to all my favorite Drake songs. Um, but the five that I love from his new album are Time Flies, Landed, Deep Pockets, Chicago Freestyle, and Desires. Um, so yeah, those are some songs that I'm loving right now. Weirdest pet peeve, I really, I really don't like when I'm sitting with someone and they're like watching videos out loud on their phone, if that makes sense. Like, if I'm sitting with someone, unless we're both like, let's do this, I'm not gonna like watch TikToks because they can't even see what's on my screen. I feel like it's so rude. Like if I'm sitting next to someone and they're like watching TikToks or like watching all these Snapchat stories, I'm just like, well, I, I can't see what you're watching. Like, I don't know. I just like always have my phone on silent. And then like when I'm in bed at night alone, that sounds depressing. Or like, you know, when I'm like alone, that's when I'm going to watch videos with sound because I just, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a weird pet peeve, but that is my pet peeve. Like that's my biggest one. I'll always say that. Would you consider doing a vlog and teen sort of like vlogmas? Oh, that would have been so hype, but I don't think I could do that just because my days aren't as packed anymore that yeah, probably not, but that that's pretty clever. I like best relationship advice you've learned with your current relationship, communication. There are so many times where I'm like trying to hint towards Ryan something like, hey, like I want this or not I want this, but I want this to happen or this is how I feel. And they just, it goes right over their head. He'll even tell me like, you know, you just have to tell me straight up because I am not picking up what you're putting down. Guys are just in general, not as good at like picking up senses. Like when you're like trying to like be more chill, they don't always notice that. Um, so I think the biggest thing is communication and sometimes it's hard, but I found that it's worked really, really well when I'm like not happy with something. Like I want to tell them so that we can talk about it and it's not an issue because then you just bottle up everything and then it gets worse like as things go on. Whereas like recently I said something to him and I was just like, hey, like I don't really like how this is like a thing in our relationship, whatever. And he was like, I didn't even think about it. And then like it's changed and we've like, it's great. So, and we don't really have a lot of issues to begin with. It's just like random little communication stuff, but it's like done wonders. So communication really is key, as annoying as that is. Favorite picture on your gallery wall. So she means this one. Um, I mean, my mind immediately goes to the one of Drake. So my favorite like singer is Drake and Delaney's is, I mean, maybe not her favorite, but like she loves Freddie Mercury. So we put both of our guys up there. Um, but I also, hmm, I love our Vuv one too. Our friend Amelia actually made that um, on her, she does like graphics and stuff and we bought that from her. She's in our shorty, so I love those too. How are you feeling being back in Athens? You seem happier and lighter. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, I really am happy when I'm at home. I really was happy, but I do feel um, more, I just feel at peace right now. I feel very, you know, happy to like be with myself and I'm so 
I'm a very independent person and like being in a house with my whole family was really getting to me just like anyone else would and I'm no exception at all. But being here and like being completely alone has been the best thing for me. But some people don't do well alone, but I do. So it's been really, really nice. But there's definitely some aspects of home that I miss, like the ocean, <laughs> obviously. A lot of people ask me this, what bras do you wear with bodysuits, backless clothes? So like a lot of people probably would ask me like what bra am I wearing with this? I'm not wearing one. <laughs> um, I don't really know. Um, a lot of times though I do wear sticky, sticky bras, sticky boobs, whatever you wanna call them. I'm able to wear a lot of clothes without bras, not like loose stuff, but tight, like, you know, more athletic, athleisure wear, I'm able to kind of get away without a bra, so I'm not very much help there. Has it hit you yet that after this week you'll be a senior in college? Dude, it hit me today. I was like, oh my God, this is like my last summer as like a kid. Like, not, I mean, we're always kids at heart, but like this is my last summer, like going into a new school year, if that makes sense. Like, I'll probably be home for bits of summer next summer I, I don't really know but this is like my last summer like going into like a school year like where i'm like really like socially fully acceptable to be home but like a lot of people live at home obviously after graduation and that's like no problem but it's like this is like the last summer of my youth like it really feels like that which is so sad but it's just crazy because like freshman year i was so like you know i loved college and i had fun but i was like i'm ready to graduate and like move to new york city but now i'm like no, so definitely if you're younger, appreciate your time because you will miss it, even if you think you're not going to. What's something you do for self-care recently? Um, usually around midday when I'm just kind of feeling burnt out, I just go lay out in a grassy area somewhere and just lay in the sun. I bring a blanket, I lay down, I close my eyes, and just like that little bit of vitamin D that I get, it literally just recharges me. I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, I'm a little sweaty after and I have to shower and I feel gross, but being in the sunshine has been the best thing for me during quarantine and I am so beyond thankful that I live in the South. You know, whether it's being in Florida or Georgia, I've been able to be in the sunshine. We haven't had a lot of rain, but for me, that's been a big thing. Not even just sunshine, just going outside. Like I still go outside on cloudy days, go through the football. Like I have just found that being outside has been this best self-care thing. Like, yeah, you can say face masks and hot tea, but those are things that I've always done. But specifically during this time, it's just been going outside way more and i'm really curious to see when all of this is like calmed down a lot more and we kind of start to go back to our normal lives i'm really curious to see if i keep if i if i kind of go back to my old ways or if i continue to want to like go outside like i went for two walks today like i just got back from my second walk like what but like i feel like i'll still want to do that once i'm over all of this because it'll just feel right like it takes 21 days to you know do a habit and it's been more than 21 days so i'm just curious What's your fall class schedule? I'll get more into in depth later on, but as of now, like timing wise, I have class every day, sadly. I was trying to do the whole Tuesday, Thursday thing again, but honestly, like it's kind of fun to be on campus once a day. I start pretty much Monday through Friday around nine or 10. I don't have anything earlier than that. And then I end around 12 every day. And then on Monday and Tuesday though, I have an afternoon lab textiles testing, which I am, not looking for but looking forward to but um it's pretty good like i like to get up in the morning and like i i wouldn't mind having a morning and then going to class but most of my classes in fashion merchandising majors there's like one or two options there's not many times so i just you know obviously took what i could get when are you moving out of your apartment so i actually have my apartment signed for next year as well so it's been really really nice however i do have someone subleasing my apartment beginning of june um, so I'll make some vlogs about it, but the next few weeks I'm gonna need to deep deep clean my apartment um, She's being super chill and um, She was just like I don't have like a lot of clothes like like I'm not having to like clean out my whole closet Or anything like that But you know I want to make it so like she it can be like her space for you know a month or two months or whatever that she's looking to be here for so It's nothing like crazy, but I'm definitely gonna have to clean out a lot But that'll be good because then when I come back in the fall it'll be so clean because I cleaned it out so hard before, you know? It's like sometimes good to have a little incentive. Are you still part of Troop SC 2020? Yes, I am. I'm so thankful to be a part of them. We obviously had a lot of trips planned and we were gonna do some meet and greets over the summer. Obviously those have been canceled now, sadly, but if all things are well, hopefully I'll be able to reunite with the Troop this fall, which I would love. But yes, I'm still part of Troop SC 2020. You'll still see me posting stuff about them. I love Sephora collection and I'm so sad that our time has been cut short. 
but I love them so much. Do you ever have days where you're not motivated? 100% today, I'm feeling super motivated, super great, like especially to like film a video, but yesterday, or it was the day before, whatever, you guys don't know the timing, but like a couple days ago, I was in the worst mood. I couldn't get anything done. All I wanted to do is just like sit and watch TV, but then I wasn't even feeling fulfilled watching TV. I felt like I should be doing something, but I just couldn't get up to do it. I didn't wanna like, I just, I don't know. So yes, in short, I do have days where I'm unmotivated and I get so hard on myself. But I always try to remind myself like it's okay to have a lazy day. For every five days, it's very okay to like have a more chill day. And like, I don't know about y'all, but my lazy days aren't, are still like kind of, I'm doing something, you know? What do you want to do after you graduate? I'm seeing this question a lot. I really don't know. I guess I should start to have some sort of idea considering I'm about to go into my senior year of college. Holy crap. But um, I think I've decided, and I've said this in videos before, like I don't think at least right out of college, I'll be looking for a traditional, you know, nine to five job. I'm financially and personally very fulfilled and very content with how I'm doing. Um, so there's not like a necessarily a need for me to try and find a traditional job. However, I like to stay busy. I love like, for example, I love having school right now to have something else to focus on. So I'm definitely gonna have some sort of hu side hustle, whether it's still spin instructing or, you know, you know, starting a new company with someone, like whatever it may be, there's definitely gonna be more I want to do. Um, but I know I'm not gonna like live at home forever. Like I'm gonna move to somewhere. I have said for the longest time I wanna live in New York City and I don't know, recently, I don't know if it's like just from being, you know, going through, you know, this whole pandemic or whatever it is, but I've really learned to appreciate the South a lot. Not even the South, just like space and land. And like, <laughs> I've always said I love the city so much but this just makes me realize how much I appreciate the great outdoors and just being able to go and have a backyard to have a house or, you know, just to live in a place that's warmer. And I know like this isn't gonna happen every year, but it just doesn't make me like itch to move to New York City right now. I don't know, like are any of you guys feeling that way at all? Am I like weird and crazy? But I know I'm gonna move to some sort of city when I graduate. I just don't know where I have, and I'm, and I'm glad I have that because I feel like if I have my mind set on one place, it might, disappoint me or something might not go the way I want it to. So I feel like if I'm more open and I just kind of like see how it takes me, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Like I can kind of go wherever I want in a sense, which I'm really thankful for, but I also don't want to just go somewhere random, but I, I don't know, it's so weird you guys. And I also still love Tampa, I love Atlanta, I love Dallas, I love New York City, and I will live in New York City at one point in my life, so part of me is like, I probably should go straight there and just like get that over with, you know? All right, so that answers most of the questions. A lot of the questions were kind of the same, like people want to know post-grad plans, how I'm feeling right now, and a lot of song questions. So I think, I, th I think, I think, I think, that's good, that's good. I think I've kind of hit all the bases. I just want to sit down and chat with you guys, as I like to do, but I love you guys so, so much, as you guys know, and I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, and you know, we're gonna get through this together. We got this. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me, and, you know, I just, I make my videos for you guys that really want to see my videos and I just, I love you guys and thank you for continuing to support me and all of us supporting each other. It's so important right now in this crazy world. So yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.